This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial is part 5 on applets, relative positioning. Here we see the applet output. There's a background image of Cape Horn. Text here says sailing Cape Horn. We have a sailboat that was drawn and a group of three seagulls over here. This applet will demonstrate how the sailboat is coded with relative positioning and the group of seagulls is also coded with relative positioning so that it's very easy to move the boat or the seagulls without changing many things in the code. Let's go to the code now. Drawing relative is our class. It extends J applet. The paint method we call the super paint with the graphics object that's passed in. Then we set up a reference to a graphics 2D because we're going to want to change the stroke in some of our code. So we simply cast the G to a graphics 2D and get a G2 reference. We save the default stroke, G2 get stroke, and then we activate anti-aliasing. We'll talk about that later in this tutorial. It's done by calling G2 set rendering hint, rendering hints dot key anti-aliasing, rendering hints dot value anti-alias anti on. And up at the top here we have our regular imports for basic drawing and the graphics 2D imports needed for the stroke and the rendering hints. First we display an, an image with the draw image function. That's going to be our background and it has to be drawn first in the application so that all the other drawing will be on top of it. The size of the image was 825 by 549. That's the size in the HTML file for the applet width and height and it's also the size here for the draw image. The sailboat, first we have what are called base coordinates. The X base coordinate called X boat is 200, the Y base coordinate Y boat is 250. This is where all the other parts of the boat are drawn relative to. We have some alternate demo ones that we'll try uh, shortly. Then the hull, the hull of the boat is drawn and notice that it uses a polygon, it has a custom color, and it does use in the drawing the X boat and the Y boat base coordinates and then sets up relative to those where to draw things. Then there's a stripe on the side of the boat which we change the stroke to do that and again there's the relative positioning using those base coordinates. The mast is drawn again using the base coordinates, the left sail, the right sail. These are using polygons to do triangles and then the seagulls. We have three seagulls and we set up Seagull 1 base coordinates for the first bird called X bird 1 and Y bird 1. Then the first bird is drawn relative to those coordinates. The second bird sets up its own base coordinates which are relative to the first bird's base coordinates and then uses those base coordinates. The third bird similarly sets up its base coordinates relative to the second bird and draws that bird. Finally we have the text. Let's again look at the output before we change the base coordinates. Here in the output we see again in the applet viewer and notice that the boat is on the left side of this peak here for Cape Horn and the seagulls 
are over on the right over here. So the boat on the left, seagulls on the right. Let's go ahead and look at changing that to move them around. If absolute positioning was used instead of relative, we would have to change every coordinate of every part of the boat. Let's demonstrate how simple it is with relative positioning. We'll comment out these relative coordinates and uncomment these. So we're going to move the boat's position now. Let's go ahead and recompile this. And then we'll run it. Control 3. We get this uh, saying which HTML to use. We'll go ahead and, and run that and then show the application. Here's the applet again. Now the boat has been moved. The whole boat, because everything was relative to those base coordinates, moved over by the seagulls. Let's go back to the code. This time let's change the, the seagulls relative base. We'll comment out the original X and Y base and uncomment these alternates. Save it. And we'll recompile and show the applet again. Now we see that all three birds have moved over to the left just by changing the 1x and 1y base coordinate. Note how clean the boat looks. Its lines are very sharp edges. There's no jaggedness. Let's go back to the code and disable that anti-aliasing for a minute and see what effect it has. Right here we'll comment out the anti-aliasing call which goes across those two lines and we'll save it recompile and run the applet now you can see the the line across the hull of the boat the design line is quite jagged <clears throat> zooming in on the boat you can see how jagged that line looks we're going to go ahead and change that back so that we have the nice clean look from the anti-aliasing. The way anti-aliasing works is because it's hard to put pixels, which are dots, points, uh, when you're going in a diagonal to have some kind of a thickness. They don't all quite line up and so it has to use various shades of uh, lighter colors to fill in where there would normally be a stair step jagged, uh, like a saw blade look. Fills those in so you don't get that saw blade look. It looks as though it really is straight. Also note that the uh, sailboat colors are not just white sails and they, they actually look somewhat realistic. Uh, we're going to go back, change the anti-aliasing and also show how we got those colors on the sailboat. Here we are in Windows Explorer. There's the sailboat JPEG file that's used for the image. I right click on it and say open with paint. There's the sailboat image that I used as a model to draw from. And what you can do is go to the tool here that says color picker, click it, click on a sail wherever you want to pick up color, and it shows you up here the color of that point. And then if you say edit colors, down here is the red, green, and blue numbers for those colors, 233, 226, 210. And then you can go back to your program, I mean to your, well, your applet, and for example, this left sail, we do a set color, new color, and then the numbers that we put in. So all the colors came from that model of a boat. And similarly, the seagulls, uh, we obtained some, an image of a seagull and took some colors out of there so the seagulls aren't just dark white, which looks unrealistic. So that's a technique you can use to help you in your applet drawing. So again, to review, let's uh, resize this window first. We've observed how to use the graphics 2D 
to turn on anti-aliasing through the rendering hits uh, set rendering hits function. We've also observed how to use relative positioning to define all your other positions based on one or more relative base points in your applet drawing and it makes it very easy to move things around. The maintenance is much easier. And uh, we've also observed a little bit of how to get colors that are realistic using a, a paint program with real images to model from and also a background and as an image and making sure that that is shown first before your, all your other drawings. So to conclude we're going to go back to the output of the applet again. Here again is the sailing Cape Horn applet with its background image, its text label, a sailboat with realistic colors, anti-aliasing, relative positioning, and a group of seagulls similarly relatively positioned.